Good morning. Good morning. Happy nine days away from Christmas and uh, doing more tea. Who would have thought? Um, we're going to start with chocolates first. And it is Daisy. And I got Spooky Man. Spooky Man Alien. So I'm going to give you the honors of opening it up again today. Hopefully it's a better tea than yesterday. Oh, yay. Hooray. At least we know it's not going to be ginger. So it's day number 16. All the way over here. Boom. What is it? I've been really looking forward to this one, so I am super ah. excited, and she is too. Uh, you just saw cat butthole. <laughs> Sorry for the butthole. It is s'mores chai. S'mores chai. S'mores chai, so spicy, sweet, marshmallow, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What's the first ingredient? Because the first ingredient in the majority of these has been apple. Well, the first ingredient is tea. Oh, just, oh. Pereira tea. Ooh, yeah. And then it's brittle pieces, which is sugar, hazelnut, and invert sugar. Okay, so no apple. So this is going to be a good one, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, it is four to five minutes for steeping and medium caffeine. So we'll see you in four to five minutes. See you in 45 minutes. 45? Four to five. Oh, okay. Four to five. Making sure. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Four to five minutes later. We've got our kitty mugs yeah. with our little kitty spoons. Yeah, a good tea deserves a good cup. And uh, tell them how good it smells. It, it smells amazing. She started steeping the teas. She walked away about five minutes later. The whole room smelled like a s'mores cookie. It was, yeah, it was like lighting a s'mores candle. Like the whole kitchen just smelled like s'mores. Yeah. And so. I have to say that no other tea that we've had so far has made the whole room smell. No. No other tea. They've smelled good, but never made the room smell. Cheers. Hot take. I don't think chocolate and tea go together. Which doesn't make sense because we're doing the chocolate advents and tea, but but together, I I don't know. I don't I don't like the combination. For me, it definitely smells better than it tastes. And I don't think that it tastes bad. But based on smell alone, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be like the number one. This is going to surpass the maple syrup. I don't think it surpasses the maple syrup, but I do think it's better than like the eggnog. It's like, it is a four out of five for me, but it's not as good as I was hoping and expecting it to be. Maybe my hopes are a little bit too high. I can taste the marshmallow. I can taste the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I can taste how sweet it is. And I, I, if somebody gave this to me, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a s'more. Mm -hmm. But I just, I, I don't know. The chocolate's throwing me off. Um, I'm not a big fan of marshmallows as it is. I know. S smite me. Um, I give it a three out of five. I think the hype and the build up to it expecting what it was going to taste like, which I don't know what it was going to taste like because it tastes exactly, I guess, what I was thinking, but it just, just doesn't sit well on my tongue, on my tongue. Well, you're not really a sweet tea person. You're more of the uh, fruity tea. Yeah. And this is yeah. really, if you take notice of his favorites and my favorites, mine are, you know, the maple syrup, the eggnog, the s'mores chai, the Earl cream Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. um, all the really, really sweet ones. But your favorites are like the Jasmine and you did... The Alpine Punch. Yeah. The 5 out of 5. Yeah, so you really liked all the really fruity ones and the Cranberry Bark. I think that one we can agree together was our favorite together. That, yeah, as, together. Yeah. As for right now. Right, um, because I just really loved drinking that one with you. And I really love that you and I both had the same <clears throat> reaction and the same thought process. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. If you're poor and you can't afford candles, but you have tea, I mean, you can see this and smell up the whole room. That's a, that's a good idea, too. It smells amazing. And I feel like it would have been like a 20 out of 5 if it tasted the way that it smelled. Yeah, yeah. But um, it still is, to me, very tasty. Um, it, there we've definitely had worse, but I've also definitely had better. Yeah. So middle of the middle of the pack, mm -hmm. nothing too special, but not terrible. So. But I would buy it again. No. <laughs> I would. She would. <laughs> um, but you all have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Good morning. This is Aaron. Tara is working. We open up tea today, yeah. Yeah, we open up the tea. 
Today is the 16 of the 31 of the 24 days of crisis. The tea is spilling out. Okay, looking for day 5th, 16. I just woke up. 16 is right here. It took me forever to find it, but I've done it. I've done it well. I've done it for us, the viewers. The tea today. Oh, today is the 17th. What am I thinking? Stupid. The 17th is also right there. Boom shakalaka boom. The tea today. I can't read it. Tulsi. Okay. Tulsi tranquility. Fruity stress relief. <gasps> I'm gonna like this one. I'm gonna like this one. It's fruity and it's stress relief. And I have a lot of stress. Alright. So I'm gonna get this steepin. I'm gonna get this steepin for us. And uh, I will see you with Tara. And we have a little surprise. Nothing, nothing that affects you guys, but we got a little surprise. So, can't wait to show you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. How are all of you? How are all of you? Good, I hope. We are using these new cups that we got. Just We just opened them. Um, they are from our friend Dana. Yeah. And or Orlando's boyfriend's mommy. Yeah. And so these are so cute little box with the... And I got Santa. And these so are so cute. And these are Kate Spade. I thought she only made purses. Aaron had already steeped the teas and was, you know, going to pour them into these to use. And he opened it up and we found that there was freaking steepers in them. We got new steepers. Eh, let's show them the face. Ah, meow. And they were just they were hidden in here and we didn't know. How cute is that? Yeah. So, so sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> chocolates first? Yes, chocolates first. Today is day oh. 17. Today is day 17. Mine is Scrooge. And mine's another rocket ship. So the tea, I looked at the ingredients. It is apple and strawberry with other substance. It smells amazing. Not as good as the s'mores one but just as good. Mm. Oh, no. mm. What happened? Did you not put this on tight enough? No, I did. I did. What the hell? Let me try it again. You know, you didn't. Huh? It's great tea. It is great tea. If it was a disgusting tea, I'd probably be so irritated. I like this one. Um, really I still have a lot of flavor of chocolate in my mouth. Mm-hmm. But I still do like this one. Um, it tastes like like warm apple juice. Yeah, warm apple juice with some with some strawberries. Uh, so I like this one. Um, would it be at the top of my list? No, I have other like relaxing, sleepy time teas that I like more. Um, but I would probably give this a three. I would say. I I think this is the tea that we've had that has the fullest flavor. I let, I let it steep for about a half an hour, um, and I put a lot of sugar in it. So maybe that's the reason, and maybe we haven't steeped the teas as properly in the past as we should. This is the one that has the most flavor. I give it a four out of five. It's not the base, but she's the best, and you guys are the best. So before Cat Butt comes on the screen, we'll see you guys tomorrow. What's your rating? Three. Three, yes. Bye. Bye. Uh Buenos afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is day 18 of the tease, and I'm getting more uh, excited about editing these videos because a video just went up today on the 18th, so you guys should check it out. So that means today, who would have guessed it? It's day 18 of the tease. So let's open it up as we always do. So we are looking for day 18. Who would have guessed it? Oh my god. I kind of I broke the box. I, I broke the box. I broke the box. Day number 18. I don't see it yet. Let's see. Boom. Day number 18. And I would try to be sneaky, sensual with this one. Nice and slow. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I've been looking forward to this one. Okay. Today's tea is green passion fruit. I'm super excited. I've never had passion fruit. Um, I think I think it's a fruit, right? I think it's like a... I've watched enough Chop and Food Network to think it's a fruit, okay? I don't know how it's going to taste, but it says fruity, tangy, and refreshing. So 
this is more than likely probably going to be another five out of five. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to this one. I think the only five out of five I've done so far is the Alpine Punch. I don't know. It's green tea. It's passion fruit. It's going to be fruity. I don't know. I don't know if Tara's going to like it, but I know I will. So, the Also, before we have the teas, I realized that in the process of editing, we haven't been giving our cups all the love that they deserve. So I've selected, I've hand selected Tara and I's mugs today. I have chosen this one. I do what I want. It's a cat with a mustache and a striped shirt. It looks very suave, like myself. So that's why I selected that one. And for Tara, just classic Tigger. Um, insert Tigger impression. The wonderful thing about Tigger is that Tigger would wonderful thing. Green passion fruit tea. I'll see you when I have Tara. Hello again. Hello again. It's day eighteen. It is day eighteen. A week for a. <clears throat> A week away from Christmas. It is a week away from Christmas. <laughs> What's up with that? Happy Merry Christmas. Happy early. almost Christmas. Happy almost Christmas. Happy holidays, depending on what you celebrate. Yeah. So, yeah. Happy crisis. Green passion fruit. Green passion fruit. Not my most exciting one, but yeah. it smells good. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. It's actually sweet. It's actually really kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. It, it tastes like fruit juice. Mm -hmm. it, it totally tastes like fruit juice. This tea would be incredibly good cold. Like, Well, maybe you'll just have it cold. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I will get this tea again. I, it is that good. I Now, I don't think every tea that we've probably drank should be hot. I'm sure some of mm -hmm. them should be cold. And, and just so you know, some of them, because he always likes cold tea better yeah. than hot tea, yeah. I like hot tea better than cold tea so some days after we've tasted he's thought maybe i would like it better cold and he has and you know it. put them in the fridge and tried them later and they were better cold in his opinion i would say three for me because again it is good um if i went somewhere and you mm -hmm. offered it to me i would definitely take it but i wouldn't go out of my way to buy it as much as i respect that judgment this is like a six out of five like, it's amazing. It's better than the Alpine Punch. It is better than the Alpine Punch wow. because the punch, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it had like a, just the tiny bit of spice with it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just like sweet fruit punch that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. it, had, it was like a, a very festive punch. Mm -hmm. This is firing on every single cylinder mm -hmm. and I'm not even a mechanic. Was that, was that good? That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I, get a, I get notes of like pineapple and kiwi and yeah i'm definitely gonna chill this and it is it's so good this would be like a great drink on a hot summer day well i'm glad you like it yeah all cylinders like a mechanic I, it was funny the first time chocolates. chocolates let's show them at the same time yeah one two, two three. three it's a star mine's mickey you're a star mickey <laughs> wow pink on that note i don't think we have any updates or anything but uh no happy holidays Yep, happy holidays. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Like a mechanic. Hello. Welcome back. Do you guys know why we're here today? Do, do you know? Is it a surprise? I wonder what it could be for. I mean, leave it in the comments below if you know why you're here. Opening tea. Uh, today is day 19, which kind of blows my mind because that's four days? No, six days from Christmas. Um, yeah, uh, just, it's crazy how quick everything's come. Like, yeah, we've done these tea videos every day. Uh, but thinking about it, it's just like, wow. Uh, yeah, Christmas is, uh, literally next week. So, hope everybody has a great holiday. Um, I got my coffee, because I'm not feeling too energized today. Um, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so just gonna open up the teas. Sorry I'm not my goof self, but... Oh yeah, I broke the box yesterday. Shit. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, what's today? I just said it. Oh, there goes a Yeah, goodbye. Um, day uh, 19. 19. So, right there. Boom. Right in the center. Boom. Let's open it. Watch this. Ready? Pretty hot. <clears throat> the tea today is forever frosty, ooh, nutty, spicy, 
and sweet. <gasps> ah, ooh. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I, I have a feeling it's gonna taste, that's, that's a poor box right there. I'm so sorry, box. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna taste like a, like a gingerbread. Um, let me see where the ingredients is. Listen, I've said it multiple times, the majority of these teas first ingredient is apple. This one is also apple. Oh, I'm sorry, appled and candied almonds. So I don't, and marshmallows and orange slices. Okay, that is, that is definitely a nutty, spicy, and sweet combination. I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't mean to be that guy to judge a book by its cover, but I don't think I'm going to like it. And uh, I'm pretty sure I don't like the majority of you. Um, so, so, yeah, we'll try it. I'll get it steeping. I, yeah, um, I think Daryl will like it, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I always say, like, I'm hoping for a festive flavor, but I don't. I don't really care for festive flavors, I don't know. But we're gonna try it. So, who would have guessed it? See you guys soon. Welcome back. Yeah, so fruity, almondy, sweet tea. Oh, real quick, I just noticed, it's so cold in our apartment, I don't know if you can see, but I can see my own breath. You see that? Yeah, I see yours, I don't see my own, but. What the heck? I know that it, it does feel like it's like 10 degrees outside right now, so it's very cold in here. Yeah, it gets colder in here than it does outside mm -hmm. for some reason. So come on, buddy. So, uh, yeah. So let's try this tea. Clink. Um, it smells very much like like hot apple cider, like mold, mm -hmm. like spices. The first scent that I got after like sending it in front of me, potpourri. I can kind of see that. Yeah, it was like... And those big pine cone things that moms usually put in their bathroom. I don't think I'm a fan of this one. It kind of makes, puts me in mind of like cleaning stuff. Yeah. The like, the like ending taste. It's definitely yeah. not the worst one we've had, but I would probably still give it a one. Yeah, it's a I one. I would not buy this one again. It's too festive. Like. Yeah, it just, it's got a. It has that, like, it has, like, a burning aftertaste that it, it tastes like cleaning supplies smell. Like, like, um, like apple spice Febreze almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. It, it kind of tastes like a candle. Like, like, oh, yeah. I'm not a fan of this one. It's got an aftertaste that's not very good. The first, like, sip that hits well, your good. tongue is apple. pretty good. Real good. And then there's just, like, an aftertaste that I'm not a fan of. I should have read over the, all the ingredients, but... I taste sort of like cardamom. Like mm. I think that's part of it. Maybe. And and but, that's uh, something that I don't like. So uh -huh. But same. So ugh, let's one. do some chocolate. Chocolate. It's day nineteen. 19. Six days from Christmas. That's insane. And I just found out I don't have to work Christmas. So wow. I'm very happy. Wow, wow, wow. So Mickey Mouse. And Saturn. Ready? Yep. Clink. Oh, ah, ah, oh, no. Ah, ah. oh no! It's okay, five second roll. Uh, yeah. It tastes like floor chocolate. But, um, delicious. But yeah, um, we don't have a lot of time today, but we're going to go eat lunch with our new air fryer. Mm -hmm. If Thanks you don't have one. For um, gift cards. Oh, yeah, thanks for <laughs> gift cards. Um, if you don't have one, go get one. But on that note, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Five days from Christmas. Ugh. Day 20 of all the teas. This thing has been wrecked. I've uh, broken it. I've uh, defiled it. I've uh, We've gone through a lot together. Me and this box. So I'm just gonna very sensually... You know, we have a long history with this box. I wonder if stuff's gonna fall out. Wow, look at that. Who would have guessed it? So uh, day 20, right in the frickin' center. Oh, no, that's four. Right in the frickin' center. Let's see. Today's tea is hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Um, yeah, don't don't think I'm gonna like this. Hot chocolate and tea, two different liquid entities. Um, the description is rich, fudgy, and indulgent. Now, tea can be indulgent, and tea can be rich, but tea should not be fudgy. Okay, that's what hot chocolate is for. So hot chocolate and tea, this isn't gonna go good, okay? This is not going to be well.
Okay, this right here, this demon tea, it's not gonna be good. So that's that's my hot take. Merry happy days, five days until Christmas, and you know I'll start steeping this yeah, blasphemy. Hello. Hi. It's very very cold today in our apartment. Oh yeah. Like, so especially this room. Like I don't think you can see now, but like, nope, can't see. Uh, earlier I was talking to my mom, and we were just FaceTiming, and I could see my breath in our dining room. It's very cold. Um, I think we've stated before about why we haven't turned on the heat yet, but yep. it's probably gonna happen very soon because it's just it's just too cold in here. Um, but yeah. just so you know, um, we have not been neglecting our animals. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Orlando has been sleeping in bed with us every night underneath the blankets um, in a room that we have a little mini heater going. Um, and he does have sweaters and pajamas yep. and stuff we put on him when he'll keep them on. And the cats are always able to come in bed oh, yeah. with us yeah. too. I can attest to this. I am I am loved and warmed. <laughs> All right. Um, but hot chocolate tea. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this one. I think uh, with, just without tasting it, I think I'm gonna still stand by. Chocolate and tea do not go together, and hot chocolate should always be made with milk. There's no questions, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, but what if we made this and you put cream in it sometime? I mean, maybe, maybe, but, uh, you know, it's, it, for example, like cottage cheese. I didn't think I'd ever like cottage cheese, and I love it, so maybe I just need to try cream in my tea at some point. This smells amazing. It does smell good. It smells like Hershey's chocolate, almost. I know it's not, but let's see. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, so uh, I was thinking it was gonna taste like watery chocolate because I mean that's mm -hmm. basically what it is but it doesn't even taste like it was made with water you know um it just tastes like a chocolate drink it, it has like a creamy taste to it even yeah. though it's just tea that being said I still don't like it um it's not the worst flavor we've had but I'm not gonna go out of my way to probably finish the whole cup just because I don't know, I kind of like Tara said before, I like fruitier flavors. She likes sweeter, mm -hmm. more festive flavors, which is right up her alley. Yeah, and I, I, I already told him because he told me he's not looking forward to this one before he tried it. And I told him that if he wasn't a fan, that I would finish it for him because he has finished a bunch of my fruity ones that I wasn't a fan of. So oh, yeah. I'll finish it for him, but I am going to, you know, I'm going to give it another five out of five. Um, uh, maple syrup tea is still my favorite, I think. Um, but yeah, I would put this pretty high on my list. I have had chocolate tea before that I did not like, and this one was done right, so. Yeah, this one had a great, uh, great tea substance, as I call it. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it tasted more like chocolate than I was expecting, so I'll give it a three out of five. Cool. Yeah, speaking of chocolate. 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 Day 20. Minnie Mouse. And Buzz Lightyear with the creepy eyes. But yeah, that's it for today. We're going to have lunch, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, which is a very important day. It's his birthday spoiler alert. I, 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 who, who, who knows what tomorrow could bring? Who knows? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, but we will see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello. Hi. We are back to the old setting. Yes, we are. Um, Finally. We had to turn on the heat last night after the video you saw of us. And um, we had to move Orlando's crate because it was directly next to our baseboard heat. And we didn't want to start a fire. He's got like a blanket over it. So um, our old view with the tree would have had his crate in the background. So we decided to go back to the stockings. Yeah, we, we want you guys to have, have a cute background. Yes. Not not Orlando's crate. <laughs> yeah, it's also got a bunch of junk on top of it. Yeah. So. Not much going on today. Um, it's a pretty normal day. Mm, yeah, nothing happening. Yeah, nothing normal. happening. It's my birthday. It's um, birthday. Yeah, I mean, um, excited to do the teas today. It's my birthday! It's my birthday. <laughs> it's his birthday! Yeah! Yeah, yeah 24. I'm an old man. <laughs> That's why my back hurts every day. And... I, I, my beard's coming in thicker now. I'm happy about it. I grew an inch today. I think it's an inch or a centimeter or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do the teas and then we're going to go have an, an extravaganza day. Yeah, go, not go. really sure what we're going to do today. Um, we did have other plans, 
but they kind of fell through because we couldn't find somebody to watch Orlando. So, um, you know, we can't really leave him alone. We were, yeah. we were going to go somewhere that's like almost two hours away. And so we couldn't leave him alone for, yeah. you know, that amount of time. So we're just going to do something a little closer. I know we're going to go to lunch, probably get Starbucks, but I yeah. don't know what else um, we'll get into. Yeah. But would you like to start with the teas or the chocolates? You're the birthday boy. Well, I'll start with the chocolates because chocolates are just, you know, they're, they're just what they are. I got Bo Peep Bam. Now, before you eat that, yeah, I got the Goof, who is your favorite. Would you like the Goof? I would love the Goof. Thank you. Best birthday gift ever. <laughs> hmm. So, you guys might be wondering why the teaser are already here if you saw it. Um, Tara already steeped them. She knows what the flavor is. I don't, but we still want to unbox it for you guys just because mm -hmm. oh, it's already go gone on this morning. Um, he was uh, spending some time hmm. talking to family and yeah. things like that. So I figured I would do this because um, I didn't want us to feel rushed today. So I went ahead and got it ready, but I put the package back in here so it can be a surprise still. Yeah, and it's a surprise for me too because I don't know what the flavor is. I'm just smelling it. It smells like apple pie. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't tell him anything. But while he's opening this, this was my mug today. It's a mermaid mug. I got this in Chickatique, Virginia. Yeah. And yours is an Overwatch Mine's mug. Overwatch, which I absolutely love. It's a great gift. And the tea was Sleigh Ride. Uh, sweet, tart, and spicy. And who would have guessed the first ingredient, just like the majority of the teas, is apple. Apple. But it has papaya in it. It uh, does smell really good. It smells, yeah. like you said, like apple pie. Yeah. But it, it smells like, it just smells like fall or winter, like clove and warm yeah and... yeah i'm getting a lot of clove i was not expecting it to be that tart it's very tart but i i still think it tastes like apple pie uh like sour apple pie yeah like sour apple pie mm -hmm. i mean but it's not as sour as the sour cherry um, no it's just it's just pretty tart for for tea um and she put a decent bit of sugar in it yeah, I yeah. did. I put a big spoonful in because I saw the ingredients and I knew that it was not one. Like, he likes fruity teas, but this is not the kind of fruity tea he normally likes. He likes, like, summery fruity teas. Yeah, this is more like a dessert fruity tea. Yeah, yeah. or like a winter fruity tea. So, yeah. but you like the summery, like the kiwi, the strawberry, raspberry, things like that. Very light fruit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I knew that this was not something that was really going to be on either one of our radar. So I definitely put a little extra sugar in it to make sure that we liked it. Yeah. And it's not bad. But what do you think? Um, it's not my favorite tea. I would probably give it a two, two or three. I wouldn't order it. I wouldn't buy it. If you gave it to me, I would drink it. But if you had a backup plan, I would probably take the backup plan. Right. You know? Yeah, uh, I think it, this might be another instance where it's better cold. So I'm going to refrigerate mine. And um, I, I think it'll just taste like a fruit punch later when it is cold. And that, that's something that I've noticed. Any other tea that I've put in the fridge, it's tasted better cold. But I prefer cold drinks anyway. So, yeah. For some reason in my mind, I'm just like, drinks shouldn't be hot. Unless it's hot hot tea or coffee. Anything else is... It is hot tea, though. Oh, yeah. But I, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like uh, drinks are, like, to me, drinks are, should, should be cold. And they're for summer. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. I don't, know. I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's my birthday. I got a pass. It's your birthday. It's you, my... you do whatever you want. It's my damn birthday. This tea, this tea gets a three out of five. Like, uh, yeah, I that nothing's gonna top that green passion fruit at this point. I mean, we only got four more days of three more days of tea. Mm -hmm. So I can't it's imagine only what three else. more teas. Yeah, and and I read the back of this. I don't remember anything. So I I know what the last three are, but I don't know like what in what order. Ah. I just know what flavors we haven't tried yet. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Well, I'm I'm pretty excited. All three of them sound uh, pretty interesting to me. So, yeah. well, I cannot wait to try them with you. Hmm. I can't wait either, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thank you. Thanks for being here on my day of birth. Of course. Yep. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye bye. Good Sunday morning. Good Sunday morning. Um, it's the day after his birthday, and um, yeah. we've just got I think three more teas to try. Um, it's kind of early in the morning, 
Well, yeah. not really. We're just kind of waking up. Yeah. But we decided to start this uh, this morning because um, we both have a little bit of a sore throat. Yeah. So we want to get this hot tea going. Um, Hopefully it's good. <laughs> yeah. And um, we kind of have a, some things to do today. So you didn't yeah. want to like run out of time. So yeah. would you like to unbox it? Yeah, I'll unbox it this time. Um, trying to make this one short and sweet. Uh, my birthday was great, great time. Um, now I'm just ready for some hot tea. So, um, what, 22? Mm -hmm. Which would be right here. Wow. So, the tea today is Satsuma Spice Cake. Ooh. Sweet caramelized citrus. I've been looking forward to this one. Yeah, yeah, we knew this was coming, but not on this day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it sounds interesting. Um, I will say, I say that, that means that I know what the other two are for each day, um, because I have the one the one day um, Christmas Eve. The name has been popping out of the top of it, so I already know which two are left and which one is tomorrow's and which one is the next day. So that's a little sad, but <laughs> I'll let you unbox them because I won't remind you which ones they are. So it's kind of a surprise. Well, the thing is, I know the last day. I don't know tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow will be a surprise for you. And and the last day will just be exciting because it'll be Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's go make this tea. Uh, did you want to do chocolates now? Yeah, we'll do chocolates real quick. And then we'll come back and try the tea. Sounds good. Mickey. And Alien, good friend Tom. All right. We'll see you guys later. See you later. Mm -hmm. We're back with tea. I got a new robe. I forgot to mention. <laughs> he did get a new robe. It was his birthday gift. I let him pick out whatever robe he wanted. Yeah. It smells like fruitcake. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Satsuma spice cake is a fruitcake, but... That's what it smells like. I was hoping that it was going to smell like I was like a coffee cake or something like that. Yeah, I think she explained it pretty well. Like a fruit cake. Never had fruit cake, but it smells like it. But it has a beautiful aftertaste. Like, almost like coffee cake. In your mouth, yeah. it's very <clears throat> pungent, I think is a good word for it. But then when you swallow it, it's just like so, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like biting into a fruit cake but swallowing like a warm coffee cake yes that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a good comparison like it's, it's so strange because like when i first smell it and get the first taste i'm like no yeah. no 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 i don't like this and then by the time i'm swallowing it i'm like this is so good i want to try it closing my nose maybe it's the smell yeah let's do it let's do it Nope, I still get the same taste. It's so strange. Like, you know how, like, some some things have, like, a really good beginning taste and a really bad aftertaste? This is the opposite. Yeah. I don't really like the beginning taste of this, but the aftertaste is really good. Yeah. It, it tastes like, um, like a fruit water that was flavored with stevia. Yeah. And then it tastes like... Delicious. Like luscious... <laughs> warm tea yeah this is a strange one this is a very strange one don't i'm buy not it. i'm not sure about this don't buy it. i would still probably give it like a like a two it's not a one it's definitely not a one no. i would i'm gonna finish this cup definitely not my favorite definitely not the worst no i middle of the pack here <laughs> i also give it a two i think it's down towards the lower part of my range or my list um as always i'm gonna try it cold um i don't think it's gonna be as good cold but i'm gonna try it anyway and if you don't like it cold we can just put it back in the microwave you just heat it back up that's all you gotta do also um side note off from the teas but i mentioned before that we had a um like a kettle coming yeah so we could use different steepers and different mugs and stuff like that um doesn't look like that's gonna make it here to be in the video at all so that's why you haven't seen anything different you haven't seen a kettle but you know, some people came through and bought us new mugs for yeah. Christmas and bought us new steepers for Christmas. So we were able to use um, 
the catfish steeper and the new ducky steeper as well as the two new cat mugs and the two new Pink christmas fitness, yeah. mugs yeah so um that really kind of added to it a little bit but sorry we didn't get the kettle in time yeah. we were hoping it'd be here but it's not gonna be but thank you to the people and the friends who got us stuff to incorporate in the video yes. whether you watched it or, or not um but yeah thank you and now yeah. it's only three more days until christmas only two more teas left to try. Two more teas. Can you all bear it? Will I'm, you all, I'm excited for both of them. Will you be devastated when this video series ends? They will be. They will They'll be. They'll be begging for They'll more. They'll be begging for more. Hey, and while you're watching this right now, pause the video and comment down below if you would like to see us do a different advent calendar next year and what you would like to see us do. Yes. Cause that, I don't know, this was fun. I always enjoy doing videos with you. Uh, sometimes I feel weird doing it by myself because I just am not self-confident. Um, so yeah, if you guys want more, just let us know. Yep. That's all so, you gotta do. So yeah, so we'll see you uh, tomorrow and two more days of tea and chocolate. And uh, again, comment down below if you want to see a different advent calendar next year and what kind of advent calendar you want to see. Yes, please and thank you. And on that note, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Good, good cold morning. Good cold morning. Wait, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, I see, see it. it. Yeah. It's that cold. It's, it's that very cold, cold. Might have to turn on the heat again in this room. Yeah, so we're going to make this this morning nice and quick. Just going to open up the tea, show you guys what it is, have our chocolates, and boom, get right into it. So, tea. I'm going to let you open it up because oh. I already know what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have no <laughs> idea what today is. Um, the 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. Wow. Well, who would have guessed it? Okay. The tea is Valerian Nights, Calming Caramel, and Coconut. Say that five times fast. Um, I think I'm going to like it. Not the biggest fan of caramel or caramel, um, but coconut's really good. I have been looking forward to this one. I don't really like coconut, but I have been looking forward to this one. Um, but we will only give it a taste now and drink the rest of it later since it is Valerian Nights. If you know what Valerian is, um, it makes you go to sleep. So <laughs> we will be drinking the remainder of it later, but we will taste it now for you. So, chocolates. Chocolates. Chocolate. What are we selling? Chocolates. Chocolates. Okay, 23. Scrooge. And... <laughs> Ham. Boom. All See right. You. All right. Bye. 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 Okay. We're back with teas. Howdy. I have Princess Jasmine mug. And I do what I want, cat. So clinky clink. Um, first impressions, literally what I just told him. And he thought I was being silly. He thought I was kidding. A little bit. But I let him smell it and he agreed. I said, oh, it smells good. It really smells good. It kind of smells like a foot but it smells good and it really does. It smells like- Like a good foot. Well, it basically smells like eating, eating caramel saltwater taffy on the beach. That is very descriptive. Um, because the coconut gives off the beach and then of course there's feet everywhere, so. I don't wanna take too many sips because it's like a sleepy time tea, but I'm gonna have another. As much as I really, really hate coconut, this is delicious. There's a really good aftertaste to it, like a really nice, uh, like just bam of coconut and caramel. Mm -hmm. uh, the initial taste I thought was very uh, spicy, spicy in the sense of like very festive, uh, which I was not a fan of, but the aftertaste is really good. Like, yeah, it's very sweet, almost, it's kind of like a gingerbread cookie. Yeah like a warm gingerbread cookie. And I know mm. that it's not like gingerbread at all. It's Ooh. coconut and caramel. Yeah, yeah, and the more it sits in your mouth, the more coconut I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I love it. It is, as he said, a sleepy time tea. It's valerian, which, you know, is something that puts you to sleep. So we're not gonna drink any more of it now. We'll put it in our fridge, and then when we're ready for bed tonight, we'll heat it up again, or you'll have it cold however you want it. Yeah, no, I, th I think this one needs to be hot mm -hmm. to be good. Yeah. yeah. Final... Thoughts on this one? Three out of five. Yes. Three out of five. In the middle of the pack. Yeah. Nothing, nothing special. Not the best one that I've had. It's not the worst one. 
Um, if I was offered it, I would drink it. Well, um, we only have one more day left. One more day. We both know what that tea is. Yes. I'm really excited for it. I think it's like perfect to wrap things up and it's like my, you know, it's kind of tea that I would really like. Your yeah. thoughts on it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a secret. Wink. Nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge. Um, I don't know. It, it's bittersweet that the series is going to end, but at least you guys are done getting being put through the torture. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, look what I can do. <laughs> it, it is going to be weird to not have to say, okay, when do you want to do teas today? When can we fit it into our schedule? Because we've definitely had some days, like even today is another day that it was like really hard to fit this in with yeah. everything that we have going on. But it's exciting. Um, it's a routine. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we have to go because Jasmine's sitting on gifts that we have to send out. Oh, dear. And Orlando is clawing at my side. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Last day. Bye. Well, bye. Wait, look what I can do. Oh. Wow. Holiday magic. Wow. <laughs> bye. Bye. Hey, guys. This is the last day of the tea. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm kind of glad that this series is ending just because it was getting kind of um, not stressful, but it was it was kind of hard to fit you know, a, a decent bit of time in to do the chocolates and the tea, but as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, just trying to make the most of it for what we can, but it is Christmas Eve. I'm feeling very relaxed. A lot of stuff is going on though, so I'm gonna fly through this last Christmas Eve tea. Uh, Tara and I already know what it is, but um, we hope you guys enjoy regardless. So, as always, for the final time. Boom. For this year, at least. We can do this next year with a different advent, if you guys want. I know all the teas are going to fall out. Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. Nothing fell out. Nope, I lied. There's those two. Alright. And one fell in the bathtub. So, looking for day 20 for the last day. I know I'm very calm and relaxed. I'm just ready for Christmas to be here. 24 was up here the whole time. It's a Christmas secret. It's a Christmas secret. And would you guess it? The tea today is, oh, oh. Oh, so 20% off your next loose leaf tea. So that's uh, that's good to know. Cool. Uh, we're probably not gonna use any of those, <laughs> as, uh, as sad as it is. Um, but the tea today is Santa's secret. Santa's Secret is a festive peppermint tree. And look, it says festive right there. So you know it's going to be good. Santa's Secret peppermint tea. And hey, wouldn't you guess it? The first ingredient is not apple this time. It's black tea and peppermint. So really hope you guys enjoyed. And let's swing it to Tara. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, oh, spada my no merisira. Ba da da da, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Last day. This is the last day. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. I told them this is bittersweet. It's nice in the sense that we we're not gonna have to do this every day, but it's also. It's also sad because it was nice to look forward to something every single day. Right. But I look forward to waking up to you every single day. Aww. No. No. And I but, feel uh, the same way. Mm. But yes, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. This tea right here, Tara has been looking forward to very much. It smells so good. It is so Christmassy. Should we do chocolates first or should we do tea first? Well, I think since it's a tea video, we should start with the chocolates and on the tea. Okay. All right. So the last special christmas eve chocolate mine is daisy and mine is bo peep all right cheers now we have the tea to end it all mm. oh that is so good i really oh. like this one i like this one i think more than the candy cane one yeah well the thing with this one is that the first ingredient, no, the second ingredient was peppermint. First ingredient was black tea. So, you know, it's pretty pronounced in here. Yeah, and I know that it had um, jimmies in it. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, that really gives it a sweetness already. Yeah, sprinkles if you guys don't know what jimmies are. But don't ever call them sprinkles. No, no, ever. no. Jimmies. I'm teaching you right now the right way to call the right name for them, and it's jimmies. So yeah, there are jimmies in this tea, which is already sweetening it, and it also had vanilla in it, which made oh yeah the peppermint like a little bit less harsh. Yeah. So this is like a little kid's version of peppermint tea. Yeah, because the the vanilla is more pronounced than the peppermint. The peppermint's there, obviously, and it like mm -hmm. sits like in the back of your on the back of your tongue, but very vanilla forward. Mm -hmm. And vanilla with black tea. I'm usually not a sweet tea person, but like this really works. This really works really good. So yeah. Was the buildup for this tea, like, everything you wanted out of it, or was there anything else you were hoping for? Yeah, no, I think that this one is really, really good. It is the perfect one to end it on. Mm -hmm. um, I mm. still have to say the maple syrup was probably my favorite one of the whole thing, um, but I definitely would get this one again. Yeah, uh, and I, I'd be completely down to get this one again. And, like, yeah, it's a, it's a Christmas tea, but, like, I'm sure we could get it through the year if mm -hmm. they have it in stock. Um but yeah, I think my favorite tea over any of them was still that green passion fruit. It was just so good. I could drink that every day. Um, but yeah. I, I mean, am still going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Because I would definitely order this. Yeah. I would definitely buy it. I would definitely drink it all the time. So I would give this one a 5 out of 5. Yeah, and I agree. I, I, I think part of it is because it's Christmas Eve and tis the season. But um, it's just a really good sweet black tea that's like not um as a what's the word when something's too sweet like gnawing yeah gnawingly it, sweet yeah it's not gnawingly sweet it's just perfect so or is it cloyingly oh and it's cloyingly Never cloyingly mind. sweet Never i mind. don't know why i just thought that but yes and i think we can agree that the worst tea through this entire experience was the sour cherry or the ginger Ooh, i still think the sour cherry because like the ginger no um i can't decide which one is worse out of the two they should have just made a sour ginger tea so we could just say that was just it. say that was the worst one <laughs> um but don't get those two okay no. even if you like ginger or cherry don't <laughs> i like cherry don't don't do it but i guess this is farewell and we'll see you in the next video so we'll see you in the next video so on behalf of myself tara donnie jasmine marie speedy and orlando from our family to yours, we hope you have a great holiday or Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Mm -hmm. And we'll, like Tara said, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Happy Goodbye. holidays. Happy holidays.